name is Ben, I'm with BMW Fitness, and today we're gonna to show you how to go through a full glute workout. So I'm gonna show you the training and coaching aspect of it, and Shelby, she's been a client of mine for about two years, she's gonna take you through the form and show you the intensity. So the first thing we're gonna do, we've already gone through a warm up, we did some jumping jacks, and we did a few bodyweight squats just to get the hips and joints warmed up. She actually did a foam roll as well. But what we're gonna to do to activate the glutes is we're gonna use our banded loop, the glute loop is what we call it. We're gonna go through some lateral steps to warm up the hip abductors, and we're also gonna do some kickbacks to warm up the glutes. So when you're using this, you wanna put it just above the knees. That way you get a lot of uh, good leverage and good activation in the glutes. You don't wanna have it too high because it's gonna to be too easy then. You don't wanna have it below the knees because it'll be really hard to control. So right here, we're gonna squat down. Lateral steps, you wanna really make sure you push out from the knees. She's gonna go through 10 down and 10 back. Burn. This is going to really help us get that mind muscle connection when we get to the next few exercises. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to go through kickbacks. So, on this one, we're going to kick straight back, right? We just want to really make sure we limit the flexion in the lower back and get a full extension here. We go all the way to 10. Good. She's going to do as much range as she can there, really activating the glutes. So we get 10 sideways. Okay. We're going to go through this one more time. So we're going to go straight to our side, lateral steps. So on the next time we come back, we're going to go to the side. So lateral steps again, same thing, 10 down and 10 back. And then when we come back to the kickbacks, we're going to go directly to the side. And one of those adductors even more. There we go. I think she might be getting a little warmed up. All the way through the really push out from those knees. So on this exercise, you'll notice that um, that it's it's sometimes it can be tough to really focus on pushing out from the knees and your feet may want to go out, but you really want to focus on pushing through. That'll make sure you get as much of the adductor as you can. There you go. Alright, so now we're going to go directly to the side, just to hit the glutes at a little bit of a different angle, make sure we get all the way active. You always want to make sure you keep the core tight on these glute exercises as well. That's going to help to protect your lower back and really help you activate those glutes. So, all right, so we're done with that. So that's our activation. We wanna really make sure that we activate the glutes before the exercise. Like I said, the glute loop, this glute band really helps out with things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next exercise. So we're gonna be over here. So what we've got next is we're going to do hip abductors uh, or glute ranges right here. So this right here is gonna really focus on building strength in the glutes. So this is gonna be kind of our heavier exercise. Uh, but today on the first set, we want to really focus on, again, more activation and warm-up through the exercise. So we're going to start off light. That way, we don't get any pain in the knees and the hips or anything like that. So we want to get really good and warm. So we're going to start with the hip, hip uh, glute bridge right here or hip thrust. So we're going to drive from the heel. You want to make sure that your feet are just past 90 degrees or right at 90 degrees. So the way you can tell if your feet are in the right position is if you feel it in the glutes primarily. So if you feel it too much in the quads, feet may be a little bit too close to you, or if you're too far out, you're going to feel it a lot in the hamstrings. So basically, you want to kind of be in a squat stance. You want to keep a neutral spine, so you're going to keep the chin down, and push the hips up as high as you can, and get a full hyper extension of the hips. But we're going to kind of pause on these reps really to get that activation. Awesome. So we're going to rest right here. 
and then we're gonna do our next set. So on this one, this is gonna be our heavier exercise. So we're gonna start to really build the weight up a little bit on this one, as long as you can keep good form and keep the glutes active. You only want to go as heavy as you're comfortable with. You don't want to get any injuries or anything like that. But if it's easy, go ahead and bring that weight up. That way you can still stay around that 8 to 12 rep range. This set's gonna be a little bit tougher, so we're not gonna do as long of, as of a pause on this one, but we still wanna make sure we get all the way up, get a full hyperextension, make sure we're pressing the knees out and activating the glutes, keeping the chin down, uh, and getting full range on this exercise. So on this one, we're gonna go to 10. Right here, same thing, good squeeze. Here we go. Let's work. One, two, three, four, five, drive awesome so that's a great working set that's our first working set there so really good she started to get a little bit fatigued at the end but she was still able to get a full hip hyper extension all the way to 10 so we're gonna go a little bit heavier on this next one for about 30 seconds on this one um, after 30 seconds longer so about 60 seconds total we're going to rest for about a minute the heavier we go the longer we want to rest right it makes you feel like you're more tired than you are you feel yourself all right here we go so we're going to do our third set here So if you'll notice towards the end, I started to spot towards the very end just to make sure, sure she could get that full hip hyper extension. So for you, if you have a spotter, you can have them help you towards the very end just to make sure you can get maximum extension there. If you have a hip, uh, hip thruster machine like this, but if you're using barbell hip thrust, you may just want to drop the weight a little bit, that way you can get the full hip hyper extension. So the next exercise we're going to do is going to be a Romanian deadlift. So this is kind of a cross between a stiff leg deadlift and a traditional deadlift where you want to really make sure you're focused on the range with your hips going back. When your hips full, you're going to have a slight bend in the knees. Shelby's going to go ahead and show you the form on that one. This is going to be three sets of ten. So on this one, you want to really make sure that you're getting a lot of involvement in the hamstring. You want to have your legs almost completely straight through the reps, and then on the way up, you want to really push the hips. So this one really helps to activate the glutes and bring that hamstring tie-in, especially uh, if you want to target the very top of the hamstrings and the bottom of the glutes. This is a really, really good exercise. So we're gonna rest right here again. So it's not super heavy, so we're gonna rest for about 45 seconds or so, and then we'll do our next set. We're focused on the very bottom of the glutes and the top of the hamstrings. Three sets of 10. Try those hips 
just keep the cord tight on this just to limit any involvement. So this is our third set of the Romanian deadlift. Keeping the core tight, just to make sure that you don't get too much activation in your lower back. You want to really keep the core stabilized when you go through your reps here. You want to get a good squeeze in the glutes at the top without pushing the hips too far past high hip So this is our next exercise. So now we're gonna do some Bulgarian split squats. We wanna focus on the glutes on this one. Uh, we're really gonna get a good stretch, get really deep into the range, and come up strong. We're gonna go ahead and go to 10 on each side on this one. We're actually gonna superset with hip abductors. So now we're gonna get a little bit more volume. Let's see, back, drive the heels. Perfect. So on this exercise, it's really, really great for strengthening the glutes. Um, but you really have to make sure that you're focused the weight on the heels and that you really drive and come up strong. You want to sink the hips back, that way you get don't get too much involvement on the hip flexor on the offside. So you can use any low bench for this. Here we're actually using the lying hamstring curl bench. This works great because it's already got a pad there. But you can use any bench that's about a foot to two feet off the ground. chest up, so we want to keep, keep an arch in the back on this one. And you have to really make sure that you're driving from the knees and not from the feet. I'm going to go ahead and go to 10 on this one. This really burns coming right after these Bulgarian split squats. Perfect. All right, great job. So we're going to rest for about 45 seconds on this one, and then we'll go to the next set. The next exercise we're going to do is our second set of Bulgarian split squats. So here we go. Same way, we're not going to bring the weight up too heavy because we're just focused on getting a little bit more volume on this one in high crunch feet. So we're going to keep the weight pretty moderate on this one. We want to really focus on the form. Perfect. Exercise, there's potential to get a lot of flexion and extension in your lower back, so you want to really make sure you keep the lower abs really tight as you go through the movement. So I'm going to show you guys from this angle how she's got a really good arch in her back. She's driving from the knees and she wants to get a full extension here all the way through as much range as you can on this exercise. So you want to really you want to keep the feet flat here. And you want to make sure you're just pushing from the knees. Here. Awesome. All right, so we're going to rest. 
rest and we'll do our third set. All right, so this is gonna be our third set of Bulgarian split squats and hip abductors. So this is where it's gonna to get tough. Just take your time, focus on your form on this one, and make sure you're driving from the front heel, get a good squeeze in the glutes. Last of these, it's gonna really burn, but we're gonna finish up strong. Here we go. And you want the chest up high, use those as side glutes. You got it. Two, three, push those knees, good. Five, six, seven, perfect. All the way. Eight, you got it. Push, push, push. Nine, and one more. Ten, there we go. Great job. All right, we're gonna rest and then we go to our next exercise. All right, so now we're gonna start our glute finisher. So we're gonna use the glute band again. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to start with band kickbacks. We're going to do 10 on each side, and then we're going to go right into our hip thrust with the hip abduction at the top. So 10 on each side here. So on this one, you're going to really limit the arch in the back. You're going to keep it core tight and get a full extension isolated. exercise, you're going to set up just like you would on a normal barbell hip thrust. So you want to have your, just your upper back on the bench, just and have your hands here on your sides, and you want to go all the way up, out, and then back Don't let this fool you, this exercise really burns. for about 20 seconds. Just enough to catch your breath and get set up for the next one. We're gonna go right back into it. We're gonna really burn the glutes right here. This is gonna burn, this is where it's at. We're gonna finish up strong right here, we got it. 
want to really focus on keeping the weight on the heels because once the glutes and hip abductions get tired, they want to send it to your quad, so it'll be a lot likely for, your, uh, for you to want to be on your toes, but truly really focus the weight on your heels. So that completes today's glute workout. So just remember you want to keep the weight moderate, something that you can control. Take your time on your form, really get it down. Watch this video, comment, and let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you next time.